Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Crackola Land. It's next to Otisburg. All right, so today we're working on wiring. We're working on, well, at least the first video here, we're working on wiring. Let me just start off by saying, uh, hi, Wednesday, July 1st, 2020. Sorry I'm a little late. Uh, today's my last, uh, my office's last, well, team's last real uh, day. So I had a lot of work to do. Okay, so you see all that wiring? We're putting all that in. What you see on the left, so what, what I've done is each section of the center channel uh, where you see my hands buried into we have two sort of well, there you go you can see much better so we kind of have two the idea is that you have two sections of wiring and cables and etc going down each side of the channel right so what I've decided to do is to split up um, to split data on the bottom right the bottom channel and then power on the top channel there you can see I've got a bundle of power wires that I've put together, each one for the left side, one for the right side, and I'm kind of sticking it through. It's uh, all the different snap bushings and flanges. Now some of that goes out towards the wing, some of it go goes towards the tail. All of it winds up going towards the panel where it gets connected to the circuit breaker board. So any of the power stuff coming from the back with the exception of... Uh, a couple things like the lights. The lights go to switches because they're breaker switches. The pitot heat goes to a switch because it's a switch. Uh, but everything else goes to circuit breakers. All right, and I'm here to give you the big hint right now. So running wires really isn't too terribly difficult. As you can see, you just shove stuff around and you can keep pulling wires and reorganizing them for days, right? It is a pain in the butt, but eventually you get it, you know, lined up perfectly straight and uniform and all that jazz. But you're dealing with the snap bushings and you're dealing with all those flanges. What you want is, you need to remember that you're going to be taking these flanges or these snap bushings in and out a bunch of times while you're trying to get all of this right. When you see where those snap bushings go, you have to think, I need to put this in, in the direction in which taking it out, or at least, you know, getting my hand on the snap bushing, because you have to basically push on these two, uh, you know, little snap, you know, pieces uh, to, to let it out. Uh, in which direction do I place that where it will be easier to disengage the bushing and push it out, right? It doesn't matter that once you push it out, it's kind of harder to get to. Trust me, uh, if you had the snap bushing going in the other direction and it snapped in the other way, getting behind it to actually get it out is like near impossible. So that's, you don't want that. You just want to be able to get it out. And you'll, the first time that you put it in in the wrong direction and it takes you like six minutes just to get some kind of tool back there to help you get that thing out or God forbid you got to cut it out. Yeah. Make sure that when you put those snap bushings in, they're in the direction where it's easiest, right? So if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of the video, you will see the area between the wing boxes, and you see where there are cables and wires going through. I know it's kind of in the corner, but you can see where the snap bushings are pushed in. Okay. Um, that might be the only exception. If you have small hands, getting them between the wing boxes in order to push on the sides of the snap bushings to, get to, to dislodge them eh, might not be hard. My hand more or less barely fits, right? That's one of the places where it's like, okay, if I'm going to wind up pushing those snap bushings towards the middle, is that the right thing to do, or do you know, I have them in the middle pushing out? Giant pain in the ass, of course. All right, so there's other things besides just data and power, right? So you've got, or at least in my case, I've got one, two, three, four, five pieces of uh, coax cable running to the back. Uh, let's see. Each side has a com. Um, the right side has the transponder, and I ran the other uh, GPS antenna and the WAS antenna down the left side. So you still have to find places for those. And you also have the static lines coming from the back. Right, so there you can see. There, there's a lot of stuff. By the time you have all of that in, so what happened was the bottom channel 
on one of the sides wound up being full, right? So I have the snap bushings on, but it's like, there's not anything else is going to fit in here. If that happens, well, and you need to add more wires to that side, it's perfectly okay to add them to the top, as you will see later. Actually, you can kind of see it now. You see how there's a white... If you look on the... From your perspective, if you look on the right side, in the top bushings, you see a white wire. That shouldn't be there, right? But that's the ELT. We'll talk about that later, so... Anyway, more wiring. In the next video, we're going to do something uh, really cool, so thanks for joining me. See you soon.